I'm Randy and I make candy and today I'm making sugar plums. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery collaborators and welcome to Randy Makes Candy where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Dance of the sugar plum fairy while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. Most of us have known about sugar plums since before we could read. But do you know what they actually are? I didn't, until recently. I thought they were just plums with sugar on them. Nope. <laughs> They're basically fruits, nuts, and spices ground up and formed into a ball, then dredged in sugar. And that's what we're making today. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own sugar plums, as well as suggestions for what you'd like to see in future videos. And after the recipe, I'll give you a little sugar plum history that you can use to impress or annoy your friends and family. Okay, let's make this happen. For this recipe, you'll need 56 grams of chopped toasted almonds, 28 grams of chopped toasted cashews, 60 grams of chopped prunes, 60 grams of chopped cherries, 30 grams of chopped pitted dates, 30 grams of dried cranberries, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of ground cloves, one half teaspoon of ground ginger, one eighth teaspoon of ground allspice, and some sugar. I'm using decorator sugar here, but turbinado would be great, or you can use regular granulated or even confectioner sugar. Heck, roll them in candy sprinkles. For that matter, feel free to substitute whatever nuts and dried fruits you'd like. This recipe is almost infinitely customizable. Okay, let's make some sugar plums. Place the almonds and cashews on a baking sheet and bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes, stirring every three to five minutes. This helps bring out the flavor and gives them a little extra crunch. Your nose is as important as the timer here. When you smell that nutty aroma, you can take them out of the oven and let them cool completely. Place all of the ingredients in a food processor and mix it until it begins to come together. I started out with the dough blade, thinking that would be a good way to incorporate everything, but I was wrong. It really needed the blades to cut through the sticky clumps of chopped fruit. Form the mixture into balls. These are really sticky, as you might imagine. I ended up using a glass of water to wet the scoop. That not only helped it release from the scoop, it kept the mixture from sticking to my hands. And as it turned out, the water transferred from the scoop to the sugar plums also helped the sugar adhere better, so that was a great idea. And that's it! Okay, these are ready. Let's have a taste. Slanchiva. Nice and chewy, sweet, obviously, but the sweetness comes from the fruit, not the sugar. The sugar does provide a nice crunch, though. Layers of flavor here, and the spices just scream Christmas to me. If you're going to make an upscale Fig Newton, this would be the felling. It's a legendary holiday treat, and now you can make your own. You really ought to try these. According to candy historians, sugar plums were originally a type of candy known as a confit. It was a seed or a nut with a candy coating. Imagine a peanut M&M without the chocolate. Peanut M&Ms and similar candies are made with what's called a panning machine. Imagine a little cement mixer full of peanuts spin the nuts around while applying molten candy to them until you've built up a sufficient number of layers of whatever the coating is. Now imagine spending days doing this by hand. Since they took so long to make, they were quite expensive, affordable only by the well-to-do. The term sugar plum or plum came to be used to describe anything that was pleasant or desirable. Even today, you'll sometimes hear the phrase a plum job. 
Eventually, the word sugar plum came to encompass almost any kind of sugar candy and then pretty much fell out of use. But every year, it comes back like a sweetly spiced ghost of Christmas past, dancing through our visions and maybe gracing our holiday tables. I hope you'll join me next time. I'm Randy and I make candy and today... Hmm. 30 grams of dried straw... Mm.